G'day everyone and welcome to another episode of Automotive Carnage. In today's episode we take all those top notch quality products from Wish and we test them out on our vehicles. We start off with our dent puller and move on to whatever crap we got. Oh, I can't remember what we got. Okay, here's test number one. We're currently looking at Secret Car. Now, I haven't shown you guys what this car is, but no one really cares about it. So, we need a dent to test our dent puller here. Handy little device, it's got a pretty strong suction cup, but that panel's in good condition, we need a dent. Turns out Secret Car's pretty strong. Thanks to a drive shaft, we now have a dent. Now I think this is the kind of dent that this little device is targeted at. You can just see it on the camera here, yep. Nice little circular imprint there of our axle. Now it dips in, but it's a nice wide, flat surface. So, now we've created a dent, let's see if we can fix the dent. And, oh! No, okay, try again. Push hard. Right in the centre. Get up. I think we just dented the secret car for life. I suppose if you bogged it up afterwards, it's still a dent. I'm sorry, secret car. Didn't mean to dent you for life. I thought my little tool would work. Let's keep trying. I think I saw that move. Okay, so I've given it more multiple goes, um, and what I'm noticing is that where, where the handle pushes against the plate here, that's starting to rub away, and each time I'm using it, it's getting less and less powerful. And while the dent's still there, this, this ain't doing nothing. I mean, it doesn't pull it out perfectly like you'd expect, or what I was told it would do. That's not getting any better. So, there's now a dent in the secret car. Alright, on to the next thing. I'm going to call that no use. Don't buy one of those. Okay, so this is a two for one test. We're going to put our locally hated sticker onto the Camry. But we need to clean the surface, so we'll use our floppy toppy handy dandy window cleaner here with just the generic uh, super cheap auto grass cleaner. So, let's see how this works. But I don't think that microfiber cloth's going to last too long. Which is a shame because it's all like a fitted sheet and it's sprung around the edges so it holds on nicely but yeah it's pretty filthy. Right, it's worked with the glass cleaner spray and it's cleaned the window. So that moves on to our sticker. <laughs> I'm happy with those two. The dent puller was a disaster, but the little floppy doohickey thingy, that's good. The sticker, well, the sticker, so that works, let's get it. So it works, it's just it's black, so it kind of merges in with the black surround of the window. Alright, while well, still on the camera, you can see here we have a bit of a scratch. That's actually a crack. That's some music, I've never seen a crack in paint like that before. Anyway, that's actually a scratch. Now that's the kind of scratch that a buffer should be able to take out. So, let's try our paint scratch repair agent and see what it does. We'll use one of our microfiber cloths with it. And um, this was the gooey grey liquid stuff. And uh, let's get a bit of that on there. Rub it in. Holy shamoly! That's actually working. That, that actually worked, people. My cloth is the dry end of the cloth. And now I have a wonderful stain that is cleaner than the rest of the car. Oh, the scratch is gone. Wow. That worked really well. So 
pretty much by the looks of it and how gritty it is it's just a cut and polish or like cutting compound in a bottle so you can get that at your local super cheap or repco and that'll be easy let's go over this crack here yeah that's actually a crack but got rid of the dirt around it so yeah it's just a cutting, com cutting compound in a tiny little bottle and with how dirty the Camry paintwork actually is when you get up close uh, it just looks bad but that that works that gets my uh, tick of approval uh, considering the price I paid just depends on how long it lasts um, it's a very small bottle and I think the going rate for cutting compound at the moment is pretty cheap at your local Repco so I would just do that all right what else we got let's use our body compound I can't remember what this stuff is, but at least this one comes with an applicator pad of some sort. It's got a hard foam on that side and a soft foam, so I assume that's to rub it on with and that's to rub it off with. So let's try it over the same stain and see if it has similar results or not. This stuff's useless. I don't know what this is. It's like toothpaste. It's not polishing it, it's not cleaning it. It removed a minor scratch of a lot more effort than the previous year. And it didn't make a dent in this stain around the Camry badge. Whatever that is, that's useless. Okay, so here's one I've been looking forward to is this little air vent cleaner. So it's got a brush on one side. And well, it's a brush and that ain't taking nothing away. Not in there at least. So let's use our microfiber end. Get that in there. And because of the design of the air vent, it doesn't work. Okay, so by itself, it's not doing much. But let's give it a spray of some interior cleaner here. Soak it in that. Maybe that just might provide a little bit of static to actually lift the dirt. Oh, yeah. That seems to be working. I mean, it's a lot better than doing it by hand than just a normal old cloth. Okay, if you use it with a interior spray, yes. Use it by itself, nah, it's not worth it. That looks really nice. All right, what is next? Okay, so the last thing we have left to test is our pry bars. Now, I'll be looking forward to this, um, and I'm going to be silly and put a lot of faith in them and try to take out my JDM wood grain interior in the Camry. Um, that was really expensive. I don't know why I spent so much money on it, but anyway, I'm gonna give it a crack. It, it's, it's, it's really hard to pull off normally. So with these, let's see how it goes. bristle plastics in the past and it just snaps. Um, you put a little bit of pressure on the ends and it just chip off which is real annoying so pry bars from Wish yeah maybe give it a go see what you guys reckon alrighty so that concludes everything that we brought off Wish for free now basic overview summary at the end there handy dandy flappy pappy window cleaner yeah actually could be very useful very handy as a tool um, but this microfiber cloth on the end is just that. I mean, that's already worn out. I reckon I clean the rest of the windows with that one pad and then I'll have to get a refill. So the concept and the tool, yes, I do like it. The actual microfiber on the end, uh, poor execution. So will I buy it again? If I can get refills. If I can get thicker microfiber refills, yes. 
the pry bar set. Um, as I previously just said before, it's a much better plastic than the hard brittle plastic that you can get here in Australia. Uh, will I buy it again? Yes, I do recommend this. This is, yeah, it's a great, well, it's a good product. It, I reckon, I can see these little prongs lasting a lot longer. So uh, yes, I would buy that. Uh, the tablets, they clean the window. I reckon they're just a placebo, to be honest. I, I don't know what they are. There's no formulation, there's no instructions. You pop one in your water cleaner and then it supposedly cleans your water. Now, it did set up the bottle, but cleaning the actual window, I'm not sure if it actually made a difference than any other product. Um, yeah, they're cheap, which is good. So, up to you guys, really. Depends how you, what, if you like to put soap in your water dispenser or not. The little blade thingy to clean in between the air vents and the interior. Uh, yes, again, if I can get the refills of the microfiber fingers, um, because these are not going to last long. The actual design itself is good. The hard brush, I don't know what you're going to use that for, but on my particular dust, these worked a treat once you put some cleanup on it just by themselves. Absolutely useless. So will I buy that again? Yes, I would. Um, our paint scratch repair agent. Now this actually did remove scratches um, a lot quicker and a lot cleaner than I expected. Um, so yes, it does work. Will I buy it again? No because I can go get a tub of actual cutting compound which does exactly the same stuff and it's not in a stupid little bottle where you can't squeeze everything out of it so no, I won't buy that again these cloths no why? because they're thin and they just break down and they're a dollar each as I said, you can go super cheap or Bunnings and get a multi-pack of them they're a lot bigger, they're a lot thicker, and they're the same price each. I didn't even open this. This came in such a disrepair of state. I'm not even going to try put it onto my car. Yeah, and just look at it, guys. I mean, that's just crumpled, just creased. No, I will not buy that. Uh, body compound. Do you know what it is? Because I don't. I think it's just toothpaste in the bottle. Useless. It's applicator pad, useless. No, don't buy that again. These stickers are a little too raunchy. I have children. So um, I'll have to find someone to put them. So yeah, a bit too raunchy for me to use, but they are a nice sticker. They're, they just got a nice texture about them, and I reckon they will last a while, depending on what surface you put them onto. Will I buy them again? Yes, I would. No problem with those. If you're going to buy this kind of stuff, buy it from the person who makes it. Hoonigan, My Car Mods, Hoovy's Garage, all these other YouTubers and channels and programs, they do a lot and they do a lot of stuff that we get entertained by and a lot of stuff behind the scenes. So support them. Don't buy this shit. Don't buy this junk from China because it's $2 cheaper. Actually support the companies who you enjoy watching, guys. Yeah, to be honest, it's probably made in the same factory in China and they just made a few extras and didn't tell Hoonigan about it. But honestly, buy it from the legit people, guys. It helps them out so much and it lets them create more content. Where's my cat? It lets them create more content for us to watch and enjoy. So I'm probably gonna throw that out. I think that's everything. If I must missed something, let me know. Otherwise, that's everything I brought from Wish for free. Uh, some products are good, some products aren't. Um, you get what you pay for, to be honest, and this is why I won't be using Wish again. So, we'll see you later on another episode. We'll probably start work on the secret car and show you in full what we actually have next. Um, let us know what we need to do with the Sylvia. Do we keep it or do we just sell it and go buy another one? Do we buy something else entirely? I mean, there's heaps of dream cars out there. It doesn't have to be a Sylvia, does it? Who knows? Catch you next time, everyone.